Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. We're gonna check out the expansion to our back room, our Banjo-Kazooie room, as I just added a sphinx into it to signify Gobi's Valley and kind of move the furniture around. So now we can fill up this bigger space. So I'm really ga glad, gad? I'm really gad. No, I'm really glad that we made the investment to make this room bigger as opposed to adding on a new room because our basement still has like nothing in it so I'm really excited for how this room's going to turn out as well it'll be fun looking for little banjo kazooie reminders just piecing things like that together is one of my favorite ways to create a room so this is one of the first morning episodes I've done since like the very beginning of the project but I wanted to get an early start to the day and I have a couple things I want to show off. I also want to stop by um, the roost and see if we have any of the morning NPCs visiting and then we're gonna run by Beardo's house and head to the island for some fishing so oh my gosh it's Tortimer speaking of the island Ooh, you're mad aren't you Sprout? What a quinky dink to see you here! Come on now sit yourself down and relax for a spell I think I will. Alright, let's go ahead and get a cup of coffee to start the morning. And I am not a coffee drinker. This is not accurate to my life at all. But I am a big tea drinker. I think I've said this before. Um, I love breakfast tea too. Usually when it's cold out, I will drink it like every morning. If not almost every morning. Like I just love it. In the summer, I just kind of make it casually throughout the day and evening more so than it, even in the morning now that's a good cup of coffee if you don't mind having to spend a few days recovering from it well that sounds very interesting um okay so i'm gonna show off a couple letters because one is very um strange so this letter i received this morning i i read this before i started recording and Read. It's from Caesar, who casually sends me letters now because we talk to him too much, and he says, To Madam, thanks for always being such a great pal. I know I'm always spouting off, but the truth is that I'm really glad I met you. Can you see how serious I am? I don't... But what... What is the point of this letter? I don't understand. I also dug up a time capsule from... Beardo yesterday during the fireworks show and because when all the animals are outside in the fireworks they won't respond to anything you say he just like would not give us the option to give it back to him so I opened it and read it like any good friend would do my dear person in the future note to remember always stay fantastic if people say you're not well you are you know you've got style to spare so dress your best okay Beardo the romantic oh Beardo that romantic Beardo who's dating Tammy and us and he's kind of becoming a player you know everybody's after Tammy though it's that's the truth of the matter is that Tammy is attracting all the dudes in our town because we only have what four dudes I mean I shouldn't say only we have like four do we have more girls than boys I guess we do no we have more boys than girls oh he's still sleepy in here yeah, because we have Tammy, Bianca, Barbara, and Pate. Those are the only girls. The rest are boys. Oh, I was actually expecting magical wake-up kiss from a pretty bear princess, madam. Oh, so cute. He was dreaming of Tammy. All right, capsule time. He's going to be mad because we opened it. But I didn't steal the gift, so that must count for something. That's the capsule you buried for me. Did you open it already? Whoops. <laughs> Aww. Well, I guess he's not going to show me the gift. Usually they'll take out the gift and they'll like give it to you. Or they'll offer to sell it to you or something. Why does he have these two shirts in here that are like identical but opposite colors? I'll never know. Well, I guess we should have stolen the gift after all. Oh, never mind. It must have been a tennis table. That he's over now, so... I'm not buying your crap! Alright, well, Beardo's being weird. He must be cranky in the morning. Alright, let's head out to the island. 
where we have not been in a very long time. We're just gonna fish today, do a little swimming. It's gonna be a really nice little relaxing morning, if you will. And a lot of you have commented saying you're looking forward to seeing some of the island tours and seeing Cap'n again, and so I'm pretty excited to show this off. All right, so. It'll be nice to do some of this fishing as well because I always get caught here at night catching bugs and it gets so repetitive and pretty boring. It's like, mm, I'm not not worried about it, but you know. Oh, Cap'n, I absolutely love this song so much. I'm actually going to be quiet. I'm going to turn this up this time because we didn't really hear it that well last time. <laughs> It's rainy on the sea today. I'm kind of surprised. I did not anticipate rain on our island day. But that's all right. Actually, can it even rain at the island? I feel like I've never been to the island when it's raining. I don't know if that's new. It's news to me. Or if that's possible, it's news to me. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we're just gonna pass everybody up and go out here. Oh my god, it is! I have never been to the island while it's been raining. That's pretty unbelievable. I didn't even know it was possible to rain here. I assumed it was just sunny all the time because I've never been here in the rain. That is so crazy. All right, I'm gonna borrow um, a couple items because as you know, you cannot take items with you to the island. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get out uh, fishing rod, net, and the um, diving suit. So we're gonna put the suit on. We've got our shoes on still. Um, why do I hear? I hear like birds. That's so funny. And there's no music here. This is so weird. All of this is possible. All right. Well, let's go swimming. I feel really bizarre because there's always music here. So, it's like a silent morning. I guess it's really peaceful though. It's kind of peaceful with just the rain noise. And it probably enables us to catch a larger array of fish since some fish can only be caught in the rain. Oh wow, I'm shocked that did not sting me just now. Kind of insane. All right, where are all these, come on. No one? Nothing? Why is the ocean so calm? When it's raining is the best time to catch those waves, yo. Alright. What do we got? We've got... Ah! Black! A giant isopod! You know, there used to be a really talented artist on Etsy. Uh-oh, I got stung by a jellyfish. Um, she's not on Etsy anymore. Her shop's not open. She closed it down. She was in school for um, the science of bugs. Oh my gosh. What the heck is the name of it? My sister almost went to school for this and now I can't even remember the name of it. But uh, yeah, she was studying insects and bugs and to help fund her schooling, she sold plushies of these really crazy looking bugs and like the bugs of the sea like the one we just picked up and she sold plushies of that all the time that particular sea creature so it was really interesting it was kind of funny um just to recognize some of what she sold in this game later on so all right well we're not having a whole lot of luck out here why don't we 
I want to do like a full circle and then we'll go ahead and just fish. This is really, I mean, this is new to me. It's kind of crazy to learn something new about this game when you've played it for so many years and you feel like you know so much about it. I mean, I guess that's what I love about this game anyway, is there are so many layers to it. And like so many of you pimps have pointed out things that I just straight up haven't even thought about or like didn't even know was a thing. Like, oh man, some seaweed. It's what I dreamed of finding today. All right, freaking bubbling over here. He's running, he's running. We got him. What is it? It's a mantis shrimp, all right. Pretty much everything we pick up while diving is going to be new. I just wanna point out because I've not done any diving since I last was recording island nonsense for you pimps. Like, I've been to the island since, but I haven't done any diving. I've only done diving while recording. And that would have been last time. That looks like a crab, the way it's moving. Ah, too late. Some of these are so fast, you have to really luck out to get them. I kind of lucked out here, just maybe. Okay, I was like, if we don't get this, that is BS. I got a scallop! Nice! Alright, so we're finding more at least. Man, when we first dove into the ocean, it was like nothing. It's like a ghost town. Okay, bubbling over here. Let's make our way back to the shore. Back to the shore! Ooh! We found like all different things. This is really cool. I like finding a variety like this. It's so much fun when you're first building your, your encyclopedia and like you haven't found any repeats yet. Such a good feeling. Dang! Okay, I believe this Etsy artist was called- Oh no! Uh, whoops! I scared that big fish. I don't think it was a shark. I think those are in the evenings only, but you know. Anyway, uh, the Etsy artist I was talking about, she was called Weird Bug Lady. I remember that. Weird Bug Lady. Alright, what's our first fish of the day? Ooh, it's a puffer fish! Have we caught a puffer fish before? We have. I was gonna say, I feel like that's one that we have caught before. Maybe one that I've given a neighbor when they've asked me for furniture as well. That seems about right. Okay, now all of the diving creatures are spawning. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that, whoops. Um, so I'm gonna take a moment to um, thank everybody for coming to my live streams this past week. If you're watching this and you've been coming to a lot of my live streams on Twitch, um, I just want to say thank you and kind of let everybody else know that I have been streaming a lot on Twitch. I'm trying to get affiliate status and so I've been streaming every day for the past week and um, I'm even streaming today. By the time you guys see this, I may have already streamed or I may not have streamed yet. So the best way to keep updated with me is on my Twitter. And um, this also leads me to something else I wanted to shout out is that I do have um, a Discord server now. So I have been kind of shouting out when I'm going to stream on there as well. So um, please feel free to join my Discord server. The link is in the video description. And it's just under all of, it's listed with all my other links. So you'll be able to find it easily. Oh, why do I suck today? Whoops. Um, but yeah, it's been so much fun streaming for you guys. And I just really want to just take an extra moment to thank everybody watching this who maybe has not uh, been able to stay till the end of my streams and hear me say my thank yous then. I, I want to make sure you know that I am grateful for your support and just... I want to let all of you know that I'm so grateful for your support with this project as well. I just cannot, um, I could not have as much fun with this project as I do if it weren't for your like amazing comments and just involvement. Like I love when you guys send me artwork or screenshots and just 
those of you that comment daily pretty much and always have something amusing to say like it's just great and some of you say really flattering things as well and I really really appreciate that especially to those of you who have been here since any of my previous um, Animal Crossing projects and have kind of said throwbacks to those projects that I have forgotten about it's so hard for me to remember every like really memorable moment of those projects just because I've made so many videos that it's like sometimes the memories just get lost way back in my mind and until somebody points it out and I'm like oh my gosh that did happen so it's pretty great just hearing from you guys and hearing what you have to say and being reminded of all that we've experienced together thus far so it's pretty fun just doing this project and you know Having casual days like this, fishing on this silent, rainy island. It's pretty great, actually. What a fun way to start the morning. Like, for real. Alright. And what's this fish gonna be? Ooh! Tiger fish! Oh, sorry. Or not. Zebra turkey fish. <laughs> I'm just gonna make up names for things now. Um, let me see. Where's my... I have three spots left in my pocket. I was like, where am I at with... With space. I'm gonna catch three more things and then call it a day. So. Oh, I was so close, but I messed it up. Oh well. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. I'm gonna catch this little guy and then and then I'll call it a day after that. Because I screwed that up. Yay! And it is. Oh, it's something new! It's a butterfly fish! So cute! Alright, well that's gonna do it for today's episode of Big Pimp and Big Pimp Island. I hope you guys have enjoyed this relaxing morning episode. And um, next time, I'm not sure what we'll do tomorrow. Maybe we'll do an island tour. Maybe we will visit Wee Pimp. I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out, but thank you so much for joining me. This has been Madame Wario, and I will see you next time. Peace out, pimps!